This is Uncle Momo's music reaction channel where I provide my views on talented artists and today we are going over to Indonesia and we are checking out a collaboration between Angelina Jordan and Risa. Now I believe, is it Risa or Risa? Let me know about that please. Now I did react to um, Bohemian Rhapsody and I thought that was the only thing and then Thank you very much for informing me that um, she was, this was about, say, an hour or so long concert and she was one of the first performers to come out. So thank you for letting me know about that. So this is When You Believe cover. Um, once again, thank you for outsourced data captured um, services. Um, I don't think that anybody has given them prop for actually doing this. And, and I think they did certainly deserve it. And I said that in my last one. So I'm going to give them an, another, you know, prop. <laughs> um, actually... You know what I want to do, um, being that it's near Christmas, if I can quickly do, if you don't mind me doing, um, let me just go on to my uh, my last Angelina Jordan um, reaction. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Apologies, I'm taking so long. I should have done, I should have preparated. But to be fair, I didn't know I was going to actually do this. So what I want to do, there we go, is I want to give a number of shout outs. Um, for all your amazing uh, support um, that you have done since I have started reacting to uh, Pucci Ariani. Um, so, just want to say hello to um, William Chan. Good, how you doing? Smart Pat. Good, you, good morning. Um, MV Indonesia official. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, it's is it is Mestia. Thank you very much. Dafrena Mo two five nine eight. Thank you very much. Uh, Machari. Good morning. How you doing? Um, is it da Dian? Oh, it's Dian. How you doing, Dian? Um, Tazak. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Uh, there's so many, and I'm just going to go rush through a, co a, a couple of them, just scroll right down. Um, but like, I just want to say thank you very much. Um, Skirter Artists, how you doing? Um, Kara Khan, how you doing? I'm going to do a couple more. Little Green Man, listen, Little Green Man, thank you so much uh, for all your participation in every single reaction that I have done. It's really, really, tr truly appreciated. And I'll do one, uh, another one. Um, one Man. He goes, Uncle Momo, your analysis is very in-depth, especially on stage decorations. I'm very, very impressed. Thank you very much for that. So look, let's go straight into my next uh, reaction of today. It's a collaboration. So without further ado, you know what we're here for. Great vocabs and a damn good video audio music. Can you dig it? Now, this is what I'm talking about the stage. That's the stage presentation. But I do like. Now we are not afraid. I just want to stop it right there for a moment because I'm really getting excited and I don't want to talk over her, right? My last reaction, um, Bohemian Ro and Raspberry, I said that there's, it was kind of like, it was set, the stage setting was um, the gates of hell. You know, it was fiery and there was a massive door and the, the entrance to hell. And that was confirmed um, to me. Um, so thank you very much. Um, and, you know, what I thought was actually that. And now you've got a different kind of the opposite effects. You've got Pucci Ariani dressed in white, a lovely um, backing settings. And that's what Pucci Ariani is about. This setting right here. I don't, even though, look, she is an amazing absolutely amazing artist we all know that a living legend but we've got to as people that surround her i mean no no i'll take that back because her, her surroundings and her support is her family and it's always been constructed that way and i absolutely love that because can you imagine if her family wasn't involved the amount of that kind of construction within a you know the stage setting all that i i i I'm not saying that that's a negative because you can't put anything um, towards Pucci Ariani that's negative because her family's around. But I thought it was kind of like the artists 
um, could I believe it was some kind of a designer thing. But the artist had to th should have thought twice about it. This is Pia Ceriani, golden angel. Why you want to put anything surrounding about about hell around her? And I thought, you know, this, this here, this is what Pia Ceriani uh, um, is about. Yeah, this setting. Yeah, and straight away it's made me feel of a different kind of. Um, entanglement within my in my soul. It's just lovely. I'm entangled with everything what she does. Actually, just this kind of um, um, uh, um, viewing, she reminds me of, and I don't know if you're let me know about it, but she reminds me of City Neuralizer. Um, in just that, not even a vocal range or anything like that, it's just the presence right there. I'm looking at a young City Neuralizer. Or Lira and Lisa. I can never pronounce her surname. But you know what I'm talking about. I'm going to go back just a little bit. I'll try not to talk while she's singing. Look how many phones there are. do so many trills in one song and it's, it's amazing, it's lovely. But let me know more about the pictures that they're showing in the background please. I'm seeing it and I'm watching, I can't look away from it. So please let me know more about that. Ooh, lovely. So 
that was Pucciariani and Racer with uh, When You Believe. Um, obviously, we know that is Mariah Carey and um, Whitney Houston. Two tremendous legends. Uh, incidentally, I think there is some kind of collection where, I'm not saying that they're cousins, but I believe something like Mariah Carey's godmother is Whitney Houston's auntie, something like that. Where do you start? Where do I start? <laughs> Um, I'm not going to go over what I, what I said to you when I pressed pause about the stage presentation. I've locked that down. That's brilliant. That's the way how it should be. Um, this is my second time that I've reacted to these two amazing legends uh, collaborating. And what I've noticed straight away, yes, Razor is, um, you know, older, mature, and you certainly heard that within her vocals. It gave me a kind of like um, uh, parishion of what's to come with Pucciariani. Remember, she is still a teenager. And she is singing with um, artists who are, you know, twice and even sometimes three times her age. That's the level that she is in. You know, these are the people that want to sing with her and, like, and vice versa. And you've seen it in the collaborations. She's not singing with, any, with anybody her age. Um, that's long gone. I mean, she sang with her sister, yeah, and, you know, blah, blah, blah. But she is singing with other legends, but legends of her peers. And she's holding her own. So it just goes to show you what kind of living legend that we are looking forward to um, in the future. Can you imagine Pucciariani at 30 years old? What kind of vocals she will have? Oh my gosh. And what kind of following and structure she has? What kind of movement? The things that she'll be doing with her, um, her new strength, gathering strength, because she's got so much strength and it's, just, it's, it's gathering momentum and there's more and more people that she's attracting and that's, and that's lovely. Um, and you know you, she's got her own um, her own show that when she goes around she you know she, she shows you on a video with her family and everything else and that's really lovely as well. So it's not only music; she's allowing you inside of her heart and her family, and it's lovely. They're all welcoming you to, to them. Who? What artist does that? Name me one where you see um, the mother uh, and the father and the sisters. Yeah, in the music uh, in. in you know, once in a while, you may be in uh, in other artists, but Pichero only shows it regular. She wants you to, uh, she wants you in. She's allowing you in. And I speak, and I suppose that speaks volumes within an artist. It really does, and the consistency of that, down to upbringing and the loving of her parents. So when you see that, she, I don't know somehow, it's emphasised on stage. It's emphasised when she's listening to certain music, and this is a bad ass legend song. Seriously, and it, and there's no one else fitting to do that collaboration than Risa. You heard the vocals. They held their own. It's really nice. I like that. I wish I was there. That's my only critic. I wish I was there. Nothing else but that. I wish I was there. <laughs> I hope one day um, she'll come to, to, to England. I would love her too. She's done in America. Um, you know, if she comes to England, I'll certainly be there. <laughs> In whatever capacity, I'll be there. Definitely. Look, until next time, that, this was absolutely amazing and really fitting uh, for Christmas as well. Uh, next time, I salute you. Boom! <laughs>